Hello everyone and welcome back to another video brought to you by SeniorCatWellness.com. If you enjoy today's presentation and find it informative, please feel free to subscribe to this channel, like the video, and share the content. Today's video subject, Do Cats Care About Food Variety? Before we begin, let's first take a look at today's topic overview. Cats show an affinity for flavor, texture, and the overall eating experience. In their natural environment, cats benefit from consuming a variety of different prey. So feeding cats the same food every day is, as it would be to humans, really boring. In order to understand the relationship that felines have with their food, we must first recognize what drives us to purchase specific foods for our pets. After all, we hold the cards. When it comes to decision making, it typically comes down to four things. Number one, the relationship between the cat and its owner. The better the relationship, typically the more dynamic the meals. Number two, the price and value of cat food. Are you looking for a deal? What do you feel that your cat deserves in terms of a price tag? Number three, quality and the idea that commercial food isn't always the best. Are you a firm believer in the old standards? Or does your cat deserve more than just dry in the bag food and generic wet food in the can? And finally, number four, the ideologies of the owner and where they get their information. The food selections come from where exactly? Advice from your vet, your friends, or just whatever you see on aisle five at the market. The more you humanize your cat, the more the odds increase that you'll transfer your own food habits to your pet. If you're a bit ambitious in your personal diet, you'll likely a bit, be a bit more creative when it comes to what your cat eats. Brand loyalty can also play a role. Some folks buy what they know. Nothing wrong with that, although in many ways it does limit the options, quite obviously. When it comes to boredom, cats can certainly get bored with their food because we're calling the shots. When you consider all of the factors, what your cat eats is based on your selection in every aspect. The price, the loyalty, the diversity, the standards. Everything plays a role. In many ways, what you feed your cat is a reflection of you. Felines are picky eaters, but there is a limit to the selection. Cats love foods that are in abundance, a bit novel, while also avoiding foods they feel could cause a negative reaction, such as vomiting. Felines are easily turned off by anything they feel could make them sick. So that leaves two core schools of thought. Felines want a lot of food with a dash of creativity. When it comes to the amount, this is all about instincts. Cats in the wild are constantly on the hunt for food that is plentiful, unique, yet safe. These are three powerful influencers. When it comes to the role that you play, it's important to provide your cat with food that is tasty, nutritious, and of course safe. Felines certainly care about variety. This is why it's important to recognize your cat's various likes and dislikes, cater to the positives as a means to keep mealtime fun. While the old saying, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, is certainly true in many aspects of life, changing your cat's diet can be helpful as long as your pet continues to receive proper nutrition from each and every meal. If your cat seems fond of a certain food brand, consider exploring different flavors within that brand. Also consider adding just a touch of hot water to your pet's existing food in an effort to change the texture. What about the mixing of foods? If your cat loves food A and food B, consider marrying the two. It's important to note that even the most subtle changes to us can be rather dramatic to your cat. This is why any changes should be carefully thought out and planned, especially if your cat likes its current food and is healthy and happy. While there is certainly change for the sake of change, there is also the change for the sake of finding a better way, a concrete solution. 
If your cat has developed poor eating habits, it's important to get your pet back on the right track. This all starts with nutrition, giving your pet what they need, what they require. And seeing that we are, in fact, a senior cat wellness, some changes involve catering to your cat's needs as a feline of the golden age. Proper calories, water content, and digestibility. All are extremely vital, an extremely vital trio, that is, for an elderly feline. It's critical to remember that most cats will eat whatever you place in front of them if they realize that's the only, keyword being only, option available. It's easy to confuse consumption with enjoyment. Is your pet eating the food because they like it or because it's there? This is why variety is so very important. Bring yourself into the conversation. Look at your own food choices. Do you love cheeseburgers? Do you want one every single day, three times a day? Hmm. Throw your cat a few curveballs every so often. It's important to have several options available. What about how the food is actually served? Is that a form of variety? Very much so. Example, if your cat's food bowl is always full, always there, the odds of your pet showing great interest at any given time of the day is fairly small. However, if you set a feeding time, this can become an event for your cat. There is anticipation involved. Appetites will change and the amount consumed will likely change as well. And in the big picture, you won't be as wasteful. For as much as we talk about taste, texture, and the desire for something new, never dismiss the importance of presentation. How your cat feels about mealtime can be just as important as the meal itself. While the main objective should always center around giving your cat what it needs, from a nutritional standpoint, all of that is a moot point if your cat downright refuses to eat. Catering to what your cat enjoys in terms of taste and texture is key, and presentation can play a mighty big role. While there could be some trial and error involved in an effort to create variety, pay attention to how your cat responds to certain food options. Make note, in the most literal sense, if you have to, in the end, you'll be able to check off those nutritional needs while your cat enjoys its favorite meals. And if you would like more information concerning today's subject matter, please click the initial link in the description box below and join us at SeniorCatWellness.com. And once again, feel free to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel if this type of content is of interest to you. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you later.